Hey everyone, it is Evan here from The Trade Risk on Wednesday, July 8th. We are intraday right now, and this is our weekly swing trade ideas video where we bring you some of the names from our watch list, stocks that are holding up well, showing some relative strength, and ideally are not yet too extended in their move, which is pretty hard to find in this market environment. As always, these videos are powered by our partners over at Investors Business Daily. We curate ideas from their stock lists. You can get access to their stock lists with a link in the description of this video. So we're looking at four names today. We got two from IBD's watch list. We got two from our TR150 watch list. We're going to kick things off with PETS. Uh, this is PetMed. This comes from IBD's watch list. And uh, what you'll notice here today is that we have a breakout of sorts in motion uh, for the past uh, month of June, basically. You've seen resistance come in right around this $38 area here. And you can see we're set uh, to break out and close above it for the first time since uh, early May. Uh, if we zoom out a little bit further, you can see Pets has been in a nice strong uptrend here. So we have some good trend alignment. If we go to a weekly chart, you can see just how uh, kind of healthy this consolidation, this breakout is looking right now. All the clusters of highs uh, in the upper 30s that it's starting to resolve from. Of course, for the weekly chart, you'd want to see if we can get through Friday and, and get that weekly close. But regardless here, I think PETS, you've got a nice kind of uh, momentum breakout. We're recording this uh, midday right now, and you can see the volume is actually already above uh, the one month average. So uh, we're going to be set for a higher volume day. And of course, uh, because we are recording this intraday here. There's no guarantee that it actually does close uh, up at these levels. So let's pay attention to it. Uh, but I think you have a nice sort of day one look there for PETS. Number two is Box, B-O-X. Uh, this also comes from IBD's watch list. And if we uh, zoom out here and we take a look at uh, the weekly chart, it is very uninspiring here. It hasn't gone really anywhere since its IPO. In fact, it's it's frankly back to its sort of secondary offering price, but it has picked up some good momentum recently here uh, throughout um, basically picking up off of the uh, sell-off in the first quarter of this year. You can see it's basically up uh, you know, 150%. So it certainly hasn't been left behind in this rally and it does seem to be um, you know, keeping the momentum intact. So for BOX here in the more immediate term, take a look at just how tight this consolidation has been. Uh, and that's the, that's the range that we're watching here is essentially how it acts uh, if it can start to resolve this range here you have sort of a tighter range uh, that comes in right around 2150 to 2175 at the top end then you have the highs it made uh, about three weeks ago back on the 22nd over $22 so for BOX again you've got some nice trend alignment to the upside you've got a very nice tight uh, consolidation it hasn't broke out yet uh, but it's something worth paying attention to so those two come from IBD's watch Watch list. Now, if we jump into a couple of the names on our watch list, uh, this is MTH here. It's probably a, a lesser talked about name, uh, lesser lesser uh, traffic name, if you will. This is in the uh, real estate uh, residential construction space. And uh, if we look here first, I guess at a weekly time frame, again, you can see um, it, it has been pretty quiet here for a long time, uh, really through 2013 all the way into the end of 2019. This thing had basically been going nowhere, going sideways, and uh, lots of volatility came in throughout uh, 2020. But notice now we're starting to break out, resolve, and continue higher. Uh, so that is constructive. Again, a good weekly candle getting printed right now, MACD moving to new highs. If we go back down to the daily chart here again, you can see uh, we started to get a high volume move to the upside yesterday. We're getting follow through today. Uh, so we've got a nice sort of base breakout here uh, from this uh, one month range and uh, does have a nice long term uptrend behind it. Again, lesser talked about name MTH here, not as super growthy as some of these other names we just looked at, but uh, certainly a different sector and a different look. So that's uh, our first one from our watch list and number two from our watch list, which is a different look here is uh, CUE. 
So this is a uh, smaller biotech name. So again, uh, disclaimers on uh, elevated risk uh, should apply to this type of name. Um, we can see here that basically this has, again, if we zoom out, has been in a nice uptrend here. So we have the long-term trend, the long-term currents at our back. Uh, it topped out a few weeks ago, last month around $31, put in a little bit of a double top, and it's basically been pulling back here. And it's been pulling back very orderly. Um, it hasn't been a total rush for the exit door. There's been some volume spikes in here, uh, but essentially price itself has been sort of gradually kind of working off the big run up it had uh, from the March lows all the way up to uh, recent highs, which by the way, uh, were about a 230% return in uh, just two months time. So it had a um, very powerful move to the upside. It's working some of that off. Uh, it's pulling back here and I'm sort of just paying attention to this now, uh, looking to see if support can get demonstrated up here, how it acts uh, in this uh, lower $20 area. It's not ready yet. And again, it is a higher risk name, but kind of have a nice little pullback set up here uh, for this very high beta stock. So those are the four trade ideas we have uh, for today, for this week. Uh, it was sort of slim pickings out there. It was tough to find things that haven't just totally um, you know, gone to the moon in, in this recent rally. Uh, most Mostly the tech stocks that, that um, have been working well just continue to work well. Um, so it's tough finding um, some of those lower risk names or some names that are what I would consider more actionable. Hopefully these ideas uh, help you out. We do trade idea videos just like this every Wednesday. So if you like these videos, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, and also check out the blog, the website, uh, the trade risk. We'll always have the latest videos posted as well. So that's it for me. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching. We'll be back on Friday with our long form market recap video. We'll see you then.